What is up, Mike Levasian here, and we are gonna be starting to try to do videos again. I'm so sorry, I keep, every single time I make a video for the first time in three months, I always come back and say, I'm gonna start making videos, and I never do. So, I'm really gonna start trying to get into it. Anyway, today we're gonna be doing my 2018 top rappers, because I have a list, and then after that I'm gonna make another list, and then hopefully my next video will be 2019 top list of rappers. So, with the people that I name, maybe you haven't heard of them, I would suggest checking out their music. I think it's all pretty cool. Um, I listen to more people present day 2019 than I did in 2018, so I may be missing some names that you may wish were on here, so I'm sorry if I missed some of your favorite guys. Um, you can comment and tell me your favorite rappers if you want down below. Feel free to like the video, and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to say right now, this 2018 list, it's going to have people in mixed up situations, like mixed up positions that I don't agree with present day. So don't give me too much shit because of something I thought a year ago, you know what I'm saying? And also, this 2018 list is only rappers, so it won't have like black, or if you want to call them six lack, it won't have people like him because it's more of like a slow R&B type singer. This is only going to be like rapper rappers. Okay, so I'm going to start with 30 work my day down to one and I'm gonna try to throw out a song or two for each person also so in case you haven't heard of them you can go check out a song or look up the person's name with the song and hopefully you'll learn something or check out a new song or some shit okay so first is gonna be well not first 30th place so my 30th rapper which I can already tell this is mixed up because present day he would be higher but for now on, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to read, or I'm just going to go exactly how the list I used to have. So you're going to have to watch the next video if you want to see my more updated one. Okay, so anyway, 30th spot is going to be 21 Savage. Some songs by him are X featuring Future, uh, No Heart, and Bank Account. In the 29th spot, we're going to have Lil Baby, and some songs by him are Drip Too Hard, uh, Never Recover. Drake's part goes really hard in that. And then. Yes Indeed, which is also carried by Drake, so 29th spot goes to Lil Baby. 28th spot is going to go to Wiz Khalifa, he's an old guy, but I have a friend of my frat that listens to him a lot, and he made me kind of re-listen to him, so number 28th spot goes to Wiz Khalifa, and some songs by him are See You Again, probably the biggest song ever, uh, Young, Wild, and Free, and then Hopeless Romantic, and also For Real, For Real with Lil Skies, Lil Skies tears that shit up, so go check that one out for show. Sure. In the 27th spot, we're going to have the Migos, and in the 2019 version, I'm going to do the three separately, not just as a group, because I feel like it's kind of unfair to compare a group of three with three different voices in every song versus, I don't know, just Wiz Khalifa to where it's one guy throughout a three minute. So they have an advantage in this list because they are a group of three. Anyway, so the songs by them, I would say, are Bad and Bougie, uh, Walk It, Talk It with Drake, which Drake carries. And then for the third one, we're gonna go with Stir Fry. Stir Fry is a good one by that. For my 26th spot, I'm gonna have to go with Lil Yachty. And the ones I picked by him are NBA Young Boat, From the D to the A, and Yacht Club featuring Juice World, which goes pretty hard. I have the CD, like the actual CD, and I put it on my wall back in my old house. And it's gonna go on my wall in my new house too. So that's 20. That's the 26 spot. For the 25 spot, we're gonna go with Kodak Black. And the songs that I'm gonna say by him will be Tunnel Vision, No Flockin', and ZZ. Those are all pretty dope songs, I like them a lot. Kodak Black's a pretty, doesn't seem too intelligent, but nonetheless, 25th favorite rapper in 2018. So, 25. Okay, 24 spot is gonna go to Danzel Curry. I think he's an extremely talented rapper. I'm not going to tell you what happens on my 2019 list, but I liked him more this year than I did last year. Anyway, so his three songs are going to be Clout Cobain, um, Speedboat, and This Life. Those are all bangers. I encourage you all to go check them out. Enjoy Danzel Curry. All right, so that's 24. Okay, 23 is going to be Big Sean. Um, I've grown up listening to him. I love Big Sean. So the first song I'm going to give is Mar uh, Marvin and Chardonnay, that's super dank. 
and then I'm also gonna give a uh, bounce back. And the third one for him is gonna be his feature in Drake's All Me. Goes insane. So be sure to go check those out, enjoy them. Okay, so my 22 is gonna be Logic, and Logic actually came out with like a really different album called Supermarket, and I guess he wrote a book to it, and the album goes with the book or some shit like that. Anyway, so there's a song on there called Time Machine. It's amazing. Go check it out. Check out the whole album. I love the whole thing. A lot of people shit on it, but I don't I don't see the reason to shit on it. So anyway, go check that one out. And then some other songs are 1-800. It's the suicide prevention song. Pretty cool. And uh, oh, Midnight. I go check out Midnight. There's like two parts of it. Super cool song. So there's 22. My 21 last year was Kendrick. And I actually think that uh, I just put him on there because I felt like he had to be on there, not really because I like him. But I do like some songs a lot, just him overall as an artist I don't really like, but anyway, he's my 21 last year, so. Uh, and the songs I would say by him are All Right, like the song's All Right, and then uh, Mad City, and then in Mona Lisa by Lil Wayne, Kendrick's part goes off. So I'm going to actually give him his third spot on a feature also. So that's 21. My 20 spot was Eminem, and I think Eminem's dope. He's getting a little old now, music's getting a little bitter, because he's not getting the recognition that he feels he deserves. But, nonetheless, 20 spot in 2018, and the three songs I would say by him are, uh, Till I Collapse, Lose Yourself, and my favorite Eminem song ever now is Lucky You featuring Joyner Lucas. Please go listen to that song. Eargasm. That's all of it. My 19th spot is going to go to Lil Uzi Vert. I think he's super dope. I wish he'd put out some more music. Eternally it takes taking a while. Nonetheless, number 19 spot and my three songs for him are going to be EXO Tour Life is my favorite song by him. The Way Life Goes was really dope and oh, Dark Queen. I'd say Dark Queen. Yeah, that one's dope. Took me a little bit to think of it, but I got it. All right. So that's 19. Okay, my 18 spot, I'm gonna have Lil Wayne. Uh, wasn't that much of a fan of him a while ago, but this last album that came out was dope, the Carter Five, and uh, my top three songs are actually all gonna be off of that, and they're gonna be Let It Fly with Travis Scott, Don't Cry with XXX, and Mona Lisa with Kendrick Lamar. So good features, got some good features on that album. Okay, 17 is gonna be Kid Cudi, and I fuck with Kid Cudi super hard, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but in this next list, in the 2019 list, he's going to be quite a bit higher. Anyway, um, higher is in like closer to number one. Okay, but so for Kid Cudi, I'd say the three songs are Day and Night. That's classic. Uh, Soundtrack to My Life is my favorite Kid Cudi song ever. And then for the last one, I would go with Erase Me featuring uh, Kanye. Yeah. So I'd go check those out. Super dank. You will not regret those ones. Okay, so my number 16 is probably going to be someone that most of you guys have not heard of, and his name is Doobie. It's D-O-O-B-I-E, and I think he's insanely cool. He has to be on the come up, and the three songs I would say go check out to introduce yourself to him are Nikki Six, When the Drugs Don't Work, and Grab a Leaf. I would say go check those out. They're super cool. You'll fall in love with this dude. He's badass. Go check out Doobie. In my 15 spot, I'm going to have Nav. Nav's been cool since like 2017 for me. So when this video is coming out, two years, but in 2018, only a year. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, I would say go check out go check out Wanted You with Lil Uzi. That's probably my favorite Nav song. And then go check out Habits off his newest album. And then check out Myself off of his debut album. And I would go. Yeah, those three are all cool. Go check them out. We are down to 14, and I know I'll probably get some hate for this one, but I think you guys are just hating for no reason. Uh, we're going to go with Russ for 14, and the songs I would check out by him are Losing Control, What They Want, and uh, Civil War. Civil War is pretty new. Anyway, I have an app, and it tells me how much I've listened to every artist or whatever, and Russ is my number one. I've listened to him more than anyone. So I think y'all are hating for no reason. Losing Control is my most listened to song ever. Okay, 13 is going to be Kanye West. Um, fuck with Kanye pretty hard. Anyway, the three songs I would say by Kanye are going to be All Mine, I Love It, even though I love it's whatever, but it's a, it's a banger. So, yeah, I love it. And uh, Waves off The Life of Pablo. So I'd go, I'd go check all those out. I know I keep on saying 
go check those out. You don't have to. I don't know why. I just keep on saying it. But do whatever you want. But if you want to check them out, feel free. 12 is going to be Trippy Red. I love Trippy Red. Super dope. And by him, I would say some songs that I like to check out that you may want to also would be uh, Taking a Walk is probably my favorite Trippy Red song. Dark Knight Dumo and Love Scars are all super incredible songs. Do what you want. So my number 11 is going to be Joyner Lucas. And for Joyner Lucas, I would say he's on the up and coming. He will end up being one of the goats of lyrical rappers. And uh, I would say listen to I Love by him. I would say listen to Isaac, Isis, my bad, featuring Logic. For the third one, I'm actually going to have to go with listen to his feature on uh, Lucky You by Eminem because... That song is just incredible. That song is incredible. All right, so that's number 11. Okay, so now for the 10 through 1 spot, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you guys three songs and then also an album, like a full album that you may want to listen to to get a little more in-depth with my top 10 of 2018. Here we go. All right, so my number 10 is going to be Lil Peep, and it may have been kind of because he just died while he got on my top 10. I don't know if he'll be there next year or this next coming video. Anyway, nonetheless, top 10, 2018. So Lil Peep, um, I'd go check out Broken Smile. The song's amazing. Then I would, I would also check out Beamer Boy, and then for the last one, I would check out Star Shopping. Those are incredible songs. And then for the album from Lil Peep, I would have to say Come Over When You're Sober Part 2. Great album. I not really think I don't really think that I disliked one song. I think I enjoyed the entire thing thoroughly. So that's the album. That's my number 10 spot. For my number 9, I'm going to go with Lil Skies. And he really underperformed on his album in 2019, in my opinion. So we'll see. But anyway... Um, in 2018, he was my top, he was my ninth, and I'm gonna go with listen to, or don't, you don't have to listen to it. I'm gonna go with the three songs I would recommend someone would be Red Roses, Lust, and I Know You. All incredible songs, and uh, I'll give him a fourth one. Listen to Cloudy Skies. That song has a lot of sentimental value to me, so that song's pretty cool too. All right. And the album I would listen to by him is his first album, or The Life of a Dark Rose. All right, so that's my number nine. Okay, my number eight, this also may have to do with a little bit that he died, but uh, we're going to go with XXX. And the songs I would recommend by him would be, the one that made him the most famous was uh, Look At Me. That's when he kind of blew up. And then after that, Sad went number one. So I, Sad's a good one. And uh, my favorite song by him would have to be Hope on the Question Mark album. And the album that I would recommend somebody to listen to is the Question Mark album. Had a couple weird songs like Floor 555. You might just want to skip that one. It's pretty fucking crazy. But the rest of it was pretty dope. Uh, he has some good, well, he has a Joey Badass feature, so that was cool. And that's going to be my number eight spot. Okay, in my seven spot, it's going to go ahead and go to Tory Lanez. And I think Tory Lanez is really dope. Obviously, I keep saying that. They're in my top 10. These guys are my top 30 favorite rappers overall, so I think they're all pretty dope. I think they're all fairly dope. Anyway, for Tory Lanez, the three songs that I would say to check out are B.I.D., Bust It Down, uh, Shooters is Insane, and Why Don't You Love Me off his new album. And the album that I would recommend is the new album, Love Me Now, with a little question mark, and the letters are like capitalized and lowercase, like kind of making it sound dumb, like Love Me Now, because he's already been famous and everyone should like him by now. So that's going to be my number seven. My number six spot is going to go to J. Cole. Super fuck with J. Cole. Like I just said, he's in my top ten. So of course. Anyway, the three songs I would say by him are No Role Models. Um, I'm going to give him four. No Role Models, Wet Dreams, Intro to the Fall Off, uh, 1985 on his most recent album. It's a... It's a diss track about Lil Pump, but he doesn't do it in like a normal rapper way. He doesn't like a sophisticated, smart man's way to do it. So it was really cool. I like that a lot. Favorite, favorite diss track ever. And then uh, the last one would be Middle Child. And Middle Child came out early 2019. Might be the song of the year. Well, so far it is the song of the year to me. It's insane. J. Cole's the shit.
J. Cole is the shit. All right, so that's gonna be my number six. My number five spot is gonna go to Juice World. Uh, I started listening to him when he had like, I think 10 or 20,000 followers on Instagram. So just near the beginning of his journey and loved him ever since. Uh, and the three songs I would say by him to check out are, the three songs I would say I would recommend, you don't have to, are Lean With Me, that's probably my favorite song off his first album, love it. Uh, Robbery, off his most recent album, Death Race for Love. And Armed and Dangerous was a singly dropped that is a straight banger. So those are the three songs. And the album I would listen to is the first one, Goodbye and Good Riddance, because to me, Death Race for Love was kind of a, kind of has a lot of filler songs in there. Like it's a good album, but could have been quite a bit better, in my opinion, if he just cut some songs out. Didn't even have to add better songs, just cut some shitty songs out. Nonetheless, number five spot in 2018. My number four spot is gonna be Travis Scott. Travis Scott's insane. I haven't seen him live in concert, but I've heard that he gives the best experiences. Um, well, and Drake, I suppose. I wonder if Drake's on this list. Hmm. Anyway, the three songs I'm gonna go with by Travis Scott are gonna be, I'm gonna try to do one off every album. I'm gonna go Antidote, Wonderful, yeah, yeah, probably my favorite one off Birds and Trap. And then off Astroworld, I'm gonna have to go with Can't Say. Those are all extremely cool, and the overall album that I would listen to, it's hard to pick. It's really, really hard to pick. I'd have to go with one of the second two, so Drop Rodeo uh, out of the second two, probably Astroworld. I'm probably the biggest fan of Astroworld, probably listen to Astroworld the most. Okay, so Astroworld, here we go. So that's my number four. Okay, so my number three spot is going to go to Post Malone, and I fell in love with them the second I heard White Iverson, which is going to be one of the songs that I would recommend to somebody. So White Iverson, uh, Rockstar, and what the fuck? Oh, White Iverson, Rockstar, and I Fall Apart are all amazing songs. The album I would go with is Stony. Stony is my favorite album that I can think of. I liked it all the way through. Favorite album. So that's my number three. My number two is going to go to Drake. I've been a Drake fan since 2009. So I fuck with Drake really hard. We have like a 10 year relationship going. He hasn't let me down yet. So he gets my number two spot. And the three songs I would, this is extremely hard to say three of Drake's songs because he has the most Billboard top 100 hits ever. And he's second place in top 10 hits ever behind Madonna. So like, 200 songs ish on Billboard, really hard to pick a top three, or like three that I would give you. Anyway, here are three that I would give you. Off Take Care, I'd give you Underground Kings. Um, off, if you're reading this, it's not, it's too late, I would give Legend. And off Scorpion, I would give Finesse. That gives two bangers and one slower song. Do what you will with them. Strikes the king, baby. So that's gonna be my number two. Okay, and for my number one, my favorite rapper in 2018, we are gonna go with ASAP Rocky. He's actually in jail right now in 2019. Nonetheless, favorite rapper in 2018. Probably will be again in 2019. Just kidding, I don't know. You'll have to watch the video and find out for yourself. Okay, so the three songs I will give by him, I'm gonna do one off each album. Uh, Level. LVL, and then off the second album, I'm gonna have to go with Lord Pretty Fucko Jody 2. That's a fucking banger. Oh my god, I get hyped when I think about it. Stop Rocky. All right, and then off testing, I'm gonna have to go with Tony Tone. Although, I'd say all three albums, there's probably one song on each album that I don't really listen to. But anyway, the album I'm gonna prescribe to your sickness is gonna be, that was gay as fuck, ignore that. I'm just gonna recommend the album, damn it's bright as fuck in here. Ooh, the anticipation. Okay, my bad, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna say listen to Long Live ASAP, you know what I'm saying? Also, I don't know if I said a Drake album, listen to Take Care, that's gonna be the album I go with for Drake. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are my top 30 favorite, ASAP Rocky. He's king, you know what I'm saying? ASAP crew, uh, 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 what the fuck am I doing now? Okay, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, 
whatever you guys want to do. Be ready for the next one to come out in a couple days. Peace. Have a good one.